traditional territories, the Anishinaabe, and a one not got that wrong, excuse me, and the Haudenosaunee First Nations. Um, I also want to acknowledge my colleagues, Scott Duvall, candidate for Hamilton Mountain, Yosef Malik, candidate for Hamilton West and Castor Dundas, and Matthew Green, candidate for Hamilton Center. Um, uh, I'm at the doorstep every day mm -hmm. listening to stories mm -hmm. about people who are having difficulty struggling with the high cost of pharmacare yep. and dental care. People like Gina Angeloni, and this is her daughter Gwen. I also hear a lot of frustration about politicians who say the right things but don't do them. Mm -hmm. and I'm here to tell you that Jugmeet Singh is different. He's not only here in Hamilton <coughs> talking about how to make things better, he's doing that across the country. He is the only leader willing to take on the rich and well-connected. He is the only leader willing to stand up to powerful insider lobbyists. And therefore, he is the only leader truly on your side. That's why I am so proud to be running under his leadership in this election. So, please welcome the leader of the New Democratic Party of Canada, Jagmeet Singh. Thanks so much. Thank you. So, uh, thanks to all our amazing candidates for being here. And thanks to Gina and Glenn. And thank you to Nadine for hosting us again in your lovely restaurant. Uh, we wanted to talk about what, what life is like right now <clears throat> for small businesses who can't afford the coverage that they would love to have to give to their, their staff and what it means not having that coverage and what that's like. So I just wanted to open it up and maybe have a bit of a chat and talk about what that's like. <clears throat> maybe Nadeem, you can tell us um, a little bit about what it's, I guess, as an owner and you, you, know, you know it's something you want to do, you'd love to have that coverage, but it's incredibly expensive. Tell me a little bit about maybe. Well, certainly, I mean, <clears throat> when you have uh, employees, uh, around six, seven employees, and for a small business, where as, as a matter of fact, the business struggle to meet on day-to-day -day business and expenses, mm -hmm. and to add on an additional cost, for example, like something like dental care, it becomes really, very, really, very high, for example. Mm -hmm. So, as a matter of fact, the employees are deprived of, and, 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 when, and, and when they want to go, as a matter of fact, and look at a dental, they are hesitant because they can't afford, right. and the small business at the same time cannot afford to cover That's right. the expenses. That's right. So I think uh, absolutely they will be delighted and motivated, uh, and, and I think they will become more productive mm -hmm. if the government under your leadership offers that uh, than free. I think they will be more productive at work as well. That makes sense. You see a benefit for your for your time. Oh, company, absolutely. Uh, your comes back. You have yeah. motivated mm -hmm. employees. You have more production. That's right. That's a good point. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about what it's like for, for any of the folks working. We were talking about it before. Yeah. When you think about going to the dentist, you know, do you go right away or do you say, I'm going to put it off because it's too expensive? Uh, because expenses, I don't go right away. Yeah, I find right it some way for the cheaper or save money, make it that way. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, anyone else you want to add? Maybe you, when you think about your family and going to the dentist and or maybe getting medication, what that's, what's, that, what's that like? Any single visit, if you think about it, to a dentist, it's not cheap, right? Nothing is covered. Medicine's not covered, right? One single visit, that's just approximate idea. $5,000, that's my idea, right? If you had treatment on top, let's say root canal therapy, that's $10,000 easy, just for one procedure done. If that was covered, you could take all that finance and just invest it somewhere else, mm -hmm. be more productive, right? No, it can be incredibly expensive. I met families recently that were talking about uh, receiving gums, they yeah. were brushing their teeth, they're doing everything they needed, but yeah. they hadn't gone into a dentist, and then their teeth were, the gums were receding, and it cost thousands and thousands of dollars. Simply cannot afford it. Yeah. Simply can't. Like, uh, um, I'm an uh, international student, right? So for me, it's easier for me to go back home and get it done, get the procedure done, because it's just not even half the price. 
Oh, yeah, right? yeah. It's, not, it's not covered there, but it's half the price less than that even. Mm -hmm. So it makes better sense. So, but it, it, it's the same thing. You spend that much on a ticket and go back, so it adds up, right? Yeah, yeah, so I'd okay. rather have it here. Of course, right. of course it would be better. Um, and for you, uh, what, what do you think mm -hmm. about the cost mm -hmm. of medication? Like or I think that like this same paper is too expensive. It's very expensive. And, and Scott, and maybe, maybe Matt, stories, Yusuf, that you've heard at the doorsteps? So what we're hearing at the door is <clears throat> it's very, very welcome news. Um, hearing from a lot of people that lost their jobs through Sears or um, when Stalco went into bankruptcy that it was cut off automatically where they had some coverage. So a lot of people, um, because of plant closures or whatever, used to have benefits and now they don't any longer right and they're very very worried about it, where we're heading in the future yeah. because of the high cost of it so yeah. i'm hearing at the door it's very welcome news and okay. people appreciate it uh, matt do you have a story or something you want to add in certainly i mean obviously hamilton center has one of the lowest median household incomes in the country it's forty three thousand dollars a household and i think about when i'm on the doors talking to people the cost of poverty I'm thinking about the dignity of having a nice smile, you know, and for people who are living in deep poverty uh, who aren't able to access proper dental care, we're seeing it throughout the seniors, we're seeing it with, with families, and we're also seeing it particularly with, with young children. It's startling. Uh, but I could also share that as a former entrepreneur, a small business owner myself, I actually wasn't covered for 10 years. I didn't have right. dental coverage until I became a city councillor. And throughout this campaign, we're constantly talking to people, sharing that we just want for others what we want for ourselves. Mm -hmm. And that's the dignity of a, of a good smile and, and having those, um, you know, those programs and policies in, in place to be able to take care of our families. Yeah. Makes a lot of sense. Maybe we'll just bring Gina before we go to Yusuf. Yeah. Gina, tell me, you <coughs> talked about the cost of medication and yeah. how that's like a really big burden and it's a yeah. weight on your shoulders. Um, being type 1 diabetics. My whole life, I've been covered under my mom and dad when I was a kid, um, and then when I was in college, you have student benefit packages, but once you're...